Big story this afternoon, a powerful volcanic eruption in the Pacific Ocean triggers a tsunami advisory along the California coast. Local lifeguards, harbor patrol and other first responders rush to close beaches and piers just in case. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Leslie Marine. Now that undersea volcano erupted in the southern Pacific Ocean this morning, and it sent shockwaves across the Pacific. Yeah, the eruption happened near the island nation of Tonga. That's not far from New Zealand. Well, after the eruption, a tsunami advisory went into effect for Hawaii, California, the entire Pacific coast, and Alaska. The advisory for Hawaii was canceled this afternoon. The rest do remain. And CBS 2's Jake Reiner live in Newport Beach with more on the tsunami advisory and also the reaction right here in Southern California. Jake. Chris and Leslie, that tsunami advisory is still in effect as of 1.45 p.m. according to the National Weather Service. But the rain is, is coming down here in Newport Beach. That's not keeping people away, nor is this tsunami advisory as it's not packed, but there are enough people out there that it makes this significant. The tsunami advisory forced closures up and down the Orange County coastline, leaving most beaches barren. I was expecting the big tsunami wave, but it just never got, to, you know, never came in. Never. Although not as busy as a normal weekend, contrastingly, we found plenty of surfers riding waves in Newport Beach. Um, did you hear about the tsunami advisory and all of that? Yeah, it was really exciting. I was thinking it was going to make it better, but it just, uh, Fell, fell a little flat. The epicenter of the action was in the South Pacific nation of Tonga. Satellite images from the National Weather Service show an underwater volcano erupting. The effects of which, like this water surge, could be felt in the northern California city of Half Moon Bay, for example. But down here in SoCal, the National Weather Service says no inundation expected, while strong rip currents remained a concern. None of that deterred surfers in Newport Beach. You just wait till they leave and then you get, then you go in. Nor did it stop looky loos in Manhattan Beach trying to catch a glimpse of something unusual. And then the tsunami warning came in and I said, Plan D. She goes, No, dude, we're going to go look at the tsunami. I'm sorry, we're, said, not, yeah. we're supposed to listen to the warnings, but kind of rebels, yeah. stupidity. Those are her words, not mine. Uh, the National Weather Service says this is not how your typical tsunami starts. It typically starts from an underwater earthquake, not an underwater volcanic eruption. Reporting live in Newport Beach, I'm Jake Reiner, CBS 2 News. All right, Jake, thank you so much.